Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go do it. Do it. Do it. No, because we're uncomfortable. Matter of fact, you do it because you're no, closer. No, because I don't know. How to... All right, come on. Again, we're in Prospect Park. This is the park where me and Dini used to come when we was in high school. You know, when, Shut up. when we was in high school. Um, we're gonna put a few like little clips and pictures. Hey guys. <laughs> well, today's video is basically how we met. Well, my version and her version about how we met. And whatever. She has some made up version. I do that not. Is the real not version. Make sense. Like, she thinks she's a G, but whatever. So you want to start your version of how we met? You want me to go first? Go ahead. Your version of how we met. Okay, so let's see. So we met in high school. Um, Which was how many years ago? It was a long time back then. Why would you even ask that? How many years eight. ago was it? We've been dating for eight, but... For eight months? Eight weeks. years. Okay. But we met about was it freshman. Yes, but I didn't really meet you like in that yes, way. Yes, you did. You it would always. Just, oh my but not God. in that See, way. All right, you know what? I'm gonna tell my version. Go all ahead. Right, go right. tell your version. All right. So tell when I got into to high school, I was it was 2007. That's when we started Clara Barton. Yeah, we started Clara Barton in 2007. Um, I knew her, but I didn't know her. Know her. I knew her like she's she was in my class. Liar. No, she's she was in my liar. class. Um, we had like the same classes. I remember we used to have a math teacher, the same math teacher every year in high school. Um, but yeah, she was in. I, remember I was cool with her dad. Um, okay, so then freshman year, I guess I don't remember much then. I just remember you being in my class. Okay. The moment I feel like it was like the. All right, go ahead. Tell your version. Shift. So what was it, sophomore year though? When your dad asked me to tell you? Sophomore year, yes. Okay. All right, so it was sophomore year. I remember her dad was like, he was really nice to me. He would always say, um, you know, like you're very smart. And then I remember I was coming out of math class. She would always be showing off her grade, that's it. Whatever. Um, he, I was coming out of class and he was like, you know, how, how do you, how do you get those good grades? You need to tutor my daughter. That's exactly what he said. And then I was just like, oh, what's your daughter's name? He's like, Andiana. But, no, no, I think he said Dina. The point is that the way he said it, at first I'm like, oh. And then he showed me like through the classroom window. He's like, her right there. So I was like, oh shoot, I do know her. Cause I used to bother her a lot. She always had like a big, big butt. So I would always be like, some big butt or like her toes. But yeah, she didn't know. Whatever. No, I right, fresh me, I don't really remember, but sophomore year I remember because I remember it was sophomore year because of your whole dad situation. He actually to tutor her. And then I remember I went to the class, she was sitting down, you know, trying to act like she was a little good girl. And I went to her, I'm like, come here, dummy, your dad wants me to tutor you. And then she was like, I'm not a dummy. And I'm like, well, he wants me to help you out in I don't know how the conversation ended, but I remember that. Um by the way, I barely passed math, so that says a, a lot of. I didn't tutor story. you. I didn't tutor you. Um, all right, so that passed. Um, then there was a time like we still had classes together, but I, I had like I had my own relationships. I was you know I was just being a whole. We're not gonna say that. I was just getting to know me. Anyways, um, getting to know me. So. High school passed. It was like my, I believe, junior year around that time. I had a friend who was dating her. Um, she happened to be like my best best friend. And then um, she would always talk to me about her, but it was like she would say um, Dina. And I remember I didn't know her like by Dina. I knew her by her whole name, which was Indiana. And I never called her like, you know, I just, I don't know. I never knew her as Dina. But then when I finally saw who my ex best friend was talking about, and I was like, oh, I don't know her. But whatever, her and my ex best friend had dated for, according to how much was like? I was like a month or so. A month or so, right? So, um, whatever. According to my best friend, she had like, she wanted to be with somebody and she was like in love. 
love so Dina wasn't like someone significant right? I wouldn't have dated you if I wouldn't have dated her if my best friend like was madly in love with her and she was someone significant that's my point that's what I'm trying okay. to get okay so whatever point is they have but broken up my best friend was in a whole nother relationship okay. around that time I started flirting with Dina we were in um, a dental assistant program that they offered in high school and um, so we had joined that program well we had gotten accepted to that program together um, and you know we were we would flirt um, I remember before I actually started dating her, mm -hmm. um, we had gym class together too, mm -hmm. and <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, so you know, I was, I felt like, a, you know, like I was a shit, I'm not gonna lie, cause it was like, I was like the only Spanish person in there, and then when I started dating, you know, my Caribbean woman, it was just like, I, you know, I uh -huh. wanted to explore, uh -huh. and <laughs> Me and Dina used to like flirt or whatever and in the mornings I remember I bring her breakfast um, When I'd walk into like the gym lockers when we would change I'd be like with my good morning kiss and she would give me my kiss And But then at the same time there was somebody else you know we was flirting and it just happened we ended up dating mm -hmm. um, I know she was like they weren't flirting. Some girl, one of my friends, told her that this other girl liked her. Then I used so to like her. Once, I used to like her. Once, once she found out this girl liked her. Do you know who? <laughs> Do you it know wasn't what? Like that. It was. It not was. Like that. She completely shut me she, out. She didn't talk to me. She didn't text me. Yeah, she didn't no, call it was, me. It was Nothing, not even, oh, hey, you know, I've had a girlfriend, nah, I, whatever. I messed because up, even before all of that, we started becoming friends. So, wouldn't you at least be like, all right, look, you know, I got I guess, a girlfriend. But there was a lot of other things that had to happen whatever. before I could even make whatever. us a friendship. Whatever. You're right, you're right. But okay. look, but we're okay. here. That's mm -hmm. the past. They don't matter. We needed to get them little, you know, little relationships, and we're here. Uh, wow. Little relationships? <laughs> whatever. Babe, it was high school. So what? It was little relationships. Okay, so what? All right. So go ahead, continue so telling your version. Nicely. Continue interpreting your, in, interpreting your version. All right, guys. So point is that I got into that relationship. Um, and I'm not gonna lie. I had went on vacation around that time. I used to go to Nicaragua every summer. And I was in Nicaragua and I missed her. You missed who? Your girlfriend or me? I missed you. Okay. But, so I didn't say it to her. Like, I over there, there was, like, no internet. She emailed so we me had to go. she missed me. Can you let okay, me? Okay, all right, all right. No okay, okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so I had to go to, like, an internet cafe thing. And then I was on Facebook. And I had seen her on Facebook. So I'm like, okay. I sent her a message. It was on Facebook, a message. Yes, it wasn't an you email. Facebook. You Facebook. You said you I emailed message. you. No, you See sent me a... See dragging it? What did I, I say? Sent her email or Facebook? Good she thing wrote we got me a, a camera now. She, we're going to rewind. Wrote me a message we're going to rewind this. I wrote Whatever. her a message on me Facebook, me and I was Facebook. like, like, hi, how are you, right? That's what I said. You was like, hi, I miss you. You said, hi, how are you? I miss you. Something okay, like that. Okay, I was being honest. Mm -hmm. All right, whatever. Point is that I ended up getting cheated on by that girl while I was on vacation, which is the crappy part. But, um, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, I came back. Things didn't work out with that girl. And then, All right, I'm and fine. then I had, I remember I had seen her. Um, you around that you time seen in me. Regents. Regents week, I saw you in the hallway. That was before you left for Nicaragua. No, when I had came back. No, you said you missed me when we were doing our clinicals. You also, we left for after, after after. No, because it was before that. You left. You know, go ahead. Tell, tell them your story. Tell them your story. I'm gonna go ahead and tell them my story. Go All ahead. right. I don't remember the time frame of it, but I remember how we started dating. I remember how we started dating. All right, go ahead. Okay, so, yeah, pr prior to, you're all Regents right. Prior to that, yes, prior to that, break. prior to that, she is right. We have met, and she came, like, I had spoke to her. I'm like, oh, why are you not talking to me? Like, why are you, like, I try to say, you know, why she's being different. And she was like, you have a girlfriend. 
um she's like ever since you got your girlfriend you forgot about me which is right so i should have approached it a different way even if i wasn't ready to like be serious with her i should have and i'm so sorry for that i have i have yeah you can yeah i I've, i suffered you know they they played me and yeah anyways point is that <clears throat> Nervous. Don't be nervous. Um, what happened, Junior? Year? That was so, yeah, so junior then junior year, year we were we were in year. clinicals. We they um put us like in end of junior year. We were they in had clinicals put us, the summer. That summer. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get right, there. I'm gonna get there. All right, you right. Guys, we're gonna have to edit a lot because she just keeps interrupting me. So. Oh my God! Come on. Go. Um. So yeah. So. The whole Nicaragua part was the end of junior year. So getting approaching that, um, we had clinicals together and that was the summer of senior year. Oh, so and we were dating at that time. No, we weren't. We started. Babe, you're confusing my whole story. <laughs> Seriously, because we had clinicals twice. Yes, babe, we had clinicals twice. We had clinicals summer of senior year, and then we had clinicals during senior year. Summer of senior year is the summer before we are seniors. Okay, so let me get there. But you, but you're not saying it right. Because you know what? You sing your you... version. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now I feel like I gotta start all over. <laughs> you don't have to start all yes, over. Yes, because you keep interrupting my story to make it your story, and it's okay. not your story. It's our story, first of all. No, because you got a whole different other version of it. Okay. All right. So junior year, we were in dental assistant class together. Um, we had the same classes. I remember at the time I was still dating um, this girl and I remember I would always talk about her and um, when I had gotten into that relationship, I had stopped talking to her about it because me and her used to talk about everything. But I just felt like I knew that she liked me so I couldn't go to her and talk to her about a girl I just got with when I knew she liked me. So I would talk to my other classmates about it. Um, and they were our friends too, so that's why we just had the same friends. And I would talk to them about it. Um, I remember she she would be there, but I would try not to talk loud. She says I used to talk loud, but I wasn't. I used to whisper about it, because I didn't want her to hear it. Um, and then she put it, She would go like this and talk. Mind you, I'm sitting right here. She would talk to me. Right, oh, go right. ahead. All right, so point is that then came the time where we, that summer, we were put into clinical. Um, and I remember that's when I was going to Nicaragua. <gasps> look, 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 look. Look cute. Zoom. All right, so point is I was trying to get to the whole Nicaragua connecting it. Um, so yeah, we had clinicals. That's when I was going away that summer. I was going to Nicaragua because I used to leave every summer with my family. That's where my grandma's from. And um, I remember at that time, she was like, we were like flirting and stuff. Right, babe? While wow, you had your girlfriend? <laughs> Damn, this sounds so bad. I, I was, but, but this girl was already cheating on me. But whatever. Um, point is that um, I remember I left and I didn't say bye to her because I didn't want to say bye. Like I, re I really liked her. I really did. It's just. It's just what. I also had liked this girl, and I feel like I can't be with you if, if like what? I knew I had liked her too. So it just. And you also were my ex best friend's girlfriend. Like were her girlfriend so I needed there was a lot to do before I could really date you and like like be serious with you anyway so whatever this girl played me while I was away over there with the guy that she actually had introduced me to before we had um before I had left on the trip or whatever um so yeah when I came back it didn't work out with the girl um and then I remember I had seen her in school again we had the we went dental class together, so um, we had went back to class, um, and then you know she obviously heard that I didn't have a girlfriend, and we started talking again, like we started trying to be friends, and 
she actually became like my best best friend. So point is that senior year, we're back in the same classes together. Um, that's when we were doing clinicals again, where they would send us out. Like one week we were in school, and the other week we were in the hospitals doing like yeah ER clinical hours. Um, and we we got cool again. We became best friends. Um, literally, we would tell each other everything. Um, and I remember because of the fact that her and my best friend had dated and me and my best friend were like really close I told her like I had asked her I'm like you know do you guys still like each other and she made it seem like it wasn't anything significant it was like she didn't have feelings for her she really likes the girl that she's with and you know and I had to just make sure like it would be okay with her she said it was okay. it was only right for me to make sure that it was really okay like I'm not gonna go into something if my best friend really likes her or if she still has feelings for my best friend what if she could be the nicest person ever but what if it hurt her so much that she's trying to get back at my best friend once me and you got that relationship where I could trust you obviously like it had nothing to do she had nothing to do with my relationship she never commented if anything she was very like positive towards it you know like it didn't seem weird around her to talk about it and when she saw us together it didn't I mean at first I'm sure it probably must have been weird but she never disrespected my relationship and we got very close even while being in a relationship um with Nina it it never affected our like friendship we just stopped talking for something completely different and we used to talk like every night to like four or five o'clock in the morning until we had to get ready for school yeah sometimes until we had to get ready for school and um and I remember one night I told her I was like you're not gonna call me like Ashley anymore you're gonna call me babe and then and that night I was like you you my girlfriend and then she was like what and I remember I was like do you want to be my girlfriend and she was just it was quiet for like a long time and then she's like yes and she makes a little squeaky like whatever I can't do it but she was she was happy and that's basically how we met it was, it was history and we're actually filming in a park where we used to come like after school or like whenever I knew she was like, okay and stuff like I knew she would come here like yeah, this was our, our spot this park. Um, I'm gonna show you we're gonna like put a few pictures or maybe like one or two of when we used to come here and like certain things we've done here we've even like buried our um our first turtle. we had a our pet first turtle part together we buried him by i don't even there. think that was allowed like i don't even i don't know how humane that or whatever that is <laughs> but we didn't want to just throw it out so we're like let's go bury it by prospect park yeah we um, buried him at the, the corner of the pond gonna, okay yeah, that's how we met that's how you and look how i'm not gonna interrupt her and i'm gonna let her say her her truth of how we met it is the actual truth. And you lucky I didn't I didn't be extra like how I used to be like, yeah, give me that morning kiss. In the mornings how excited right. you used to get when you used to All see right. me. You used to Let be me blushing. tell you my story of how we got together. Okay. Okay. Alright, boom. Let me tell you. It all started in 2007, freshman year in Miss Laborde's math class. Alright? I sat behind her. She sat in front of me, and um, why are you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm listening. And we would talk here and there, but it wasn't like we were sit at lunch together. You know, we walked to class together. Like a cordial type of relationship, because most of my friends that I had were friends that I had from middle school. And then from their friends that they met and they had, they were her friends, so it was just, you know, connected that way. But anywho, I remember the first time we actually spoke, spoke, I think we were taking a test, I believe, and I had my pencils, exactly. <laughs> the Look! Just, just, <laughs> Yo, we made a pet, we made a, a friend here, guys. Oh no no, it looks scary. It does. Alright, come on, let's just if we don't listen to it, it's not gonna come this way. Baby, it's a bird. Come on, baby. Alright, alright, sorry. Oh my god, this is what I mean about low attention. <clears throat> okay, let me tell baby, you. Alright, so let me tell you how we put it, alright? Alright. Alright, so it was 2007, freshman year. A Claire Barton. We went to Claire Barton High School 
and um, we were in math class. Like I said, friends that I had from like middle school were there and their friends were like her friends. So like that's how the connection, that's how we made the connection like, and started talking or whatever. But we weren't like close friends yet. Like we would talk in class, you know, share some chips, you know, can I get some gum? You know, it was like that. It wasn't like we walked to class together, we sat walk together we uh let me just put I'm gonna put my foot in this guys this girl <laughs> is so freaking dramatic when it comes to the weather it's cold okay who would have thought she wasn't born and raised in Brooklyn all right boom let me tell you how, how me, Ashley, how us, I'm how tell, we met. I'ma tell them how we met, all right? Tell them the lies. All right, 2007, 2007, we started freshman year of high school. We went to Clara Barton High School. And we weren't friends' friends. It was like friend of a friend because my middle school friends, uh, quite a few of my middle, middle school friends went to Clara Barton with me. So their friends, who they became friends with, we're her friends, so that's how we, we you know, we, we made that connection. But, anywho, in math class, she wasn't prepared. She wasn't prepared for a test. And previous to that, she would always make fun of my toes, because I have, like, perfectly squared toes. Yeah, she says perfectly. Before, if I said that, stop messing with my feet. I could say it. I have perfectly squared toes, so, like, she would always go SpongeBob SquarePants, but every time she sees my toes, SpongeBob SquarePants. So at some point it got annoying. So it was like, all right, whatever. And we had a test to take and she wasn't prepared and she needed a pencil. Mind you, I had two pencils sharpened. You had more than two, babe. I had- You had like four. I was always prepared for school. Having Haitian yeah, like parents, I'm always prepared for school, okay? I had a dozen pencils. Exactly. I was always prepared for a test. So I had my pencils on the desk, and she turned back and was like, um, can I have a pencil? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have any pencils. But I had pencils right there. So that's when it all started, okay? That's, that's that little spark that ignited the flame. Going to sophomore year, sophomore year, my dad, who was working NYPD school safety, he was transferred to my high school, so everybody loved my father. Everybody loved my dad at, at that school, so. Fortunately, he fell underneath Ashley's charming spell, and he grew fond of Ashley, but he didn't know that I knew her. But we knew each, we knew each other, but we weren't cool. We weren't like... Like I said again, we weren't like buddy buddy. I'm not a math genius, I'm not a mathematician. I'm not horrible, but you know. He anywho, really anywho, <laughs> anywho, well, my dad, you know, he saw she was doing good in math or whatever, cause she would always show him like no. his good. She he would oh no, she would show him teachers she and everybody she, and the teachers used to talk about she would show my dad her grades. He she would show him. So he was from like what a dad. She like, said, he was like the dad I didn't have. So, so from what she said, she said my dad wanted her to tutor me. Okay. I get that. Like help you. Those but but the way she went about it. She we were sitting in class, you know, I'm sitting there. Who was I with? Who was I sitting with? I don't know, but I interrupted I don't remember. I don't even know who exactly. She came and interrupted my whole conversation. She was like, hey, stupid. No, I did. Yes, no, you I did. did. I said you, dummy. Hey, I was hey dummy. Your daddy wants me, your dad wants me to tutor you. And I'm just like, what? She's like, yeah, your dad wants you to help you with your math because you need to, you know, get your math grades up. True. Really? All right. He whatever. did. He. He. You were. I'ma tell you, there was no type of tutoring 
going on <laughs> between me and her and mathematics. There was. Okay? It was biology. There wasn't mathematics. There was chemistry, but biology. not mathematics, okay? So we would have, then we started, but then we started talking more. And then we had gym together. The following semester, we had gym together. So she would come to the we would have a we would go to the locker rooms to change or whatever so we would have gym what second period so really i think it was though. it was early in the morning so it was either first or second period i think it was second period she had gym i had yoga so she would come and then we sh our friendship got so serious that we shared a locker that's how serious our friendship became because we started talking, you were already in a relationship. She was already in a relationship with some girl, and yeah, not the girl that not the pre not the girl that she she played me for, but a f girl before that. That was cool. Oh. And then they broke up. And then when they broke up, then it was, don't call me Ashley no more. If anybody asks you, I'm your babe, and you're my babe, okay? <laughs> and you know what? I got, I got free egg. I, she used to bring me breakfast. She used to bring me bacon, so that's egg, why and you cheese was with me every of the morning. Too, right? No, you were, you was cute. You was, you was I. Right. You was cute. You was cute. So, you know what? Whatever. So I'm like, all right. She's, you my babe. That's it. Say no more. So it was babe. And then she, would go, where's my good morning kiss? Where's my good morning kiss? So every morning. A bacon, egg, and cheese, and a good morning kiss every every single morning for that whole semester. To the point where people thought we were dating, but we weren't dating. When you know, when I from my friends with us, like, no, we're like, you know, we're, we we flirting with each other. But then I had those few friends that I know who you are. But you also had your things too. They just wasn't in our school. That's I had why, no. Let's make it that was clear. just it was That's just why one she didn't thing. Back to what I was saying. So, you see, you made me forget. No, so, I got it. So, in gym, before we would leave for gym, she would go upstairs to the gym room and I would go down the hall for the yoga studio. So, when we would come back, oh, you can't leave without a kiss. You can't leave without kissing me. And, all right, whatever. And then we had forensics together. We had forensics class together. So we would sit next to each other. She would be flirting on my thighs. She would be flirting, blowing those, blowing those kisses, batting them lashes. So you know, we just, my lashes. You're you, old you didn't look at me like this. You know, I did not you, bat. I don't whatever. Even know how to bat lashes. Not like them cartoons be batting their eyelashes like that. But you like, you know, giving me that look. Anyways. I don't know what look you're talking about. You don't know what look. That look, that's I, what I'm does talking that look about. Like batting whatever. 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 Anyways. You can't even look at me. So then after a while it just started dying down. Like she it wasn't even like no, not even. We were before we went to gym, before we left for gym, no. we were all sitting <laughs> we were all sitting in us. the we were all sitting in the locker room. We had this mutual friend that also liked her. So she told her like, hey, Ashley, you know so-and-so likes you. So the girl that liked Ashley passed us went going up to gym because they had gym together. They all three of them had the same gym class. And so from that point on, that was, go that was coming towards the end of our um, junior year. Was it junior year? Junior, because junior that's year. when I was on. Yeah, that was going towards the end of our junior year. Okay. And then we just stopped talking completely. Like, not talking at I all. I was in a relationship. But I didn't know. I'm your friend. She could have told me. Because I knew we still she shared a locker. Like we real. still shared a locker. No, not even. She moved. She moved her locker. She went to her locker towards the girl, her girlfriend. And they, she, I don't know if they shared a locker or nothing. I don't really care. I don't want to know. Didn't. It still hurts. He was and, um, you know, my friends was like, what happened? You, and then, you know, I'm like, I don't know. So then the girl that told Ashley that her current girlfriend had liked her um, was like, oh, you know, Ashley and so-and-so are dating. And I'm like, what? Psst, no, they not. 
but then that was denial classic case of denial I was hurt I was hella hurt but I'm like all right whatever it is what it is and then around Regents week I remember I was taking my Spanish Regents and then she passed the class I was taking my exam in I was gonna take my exam in so she was like hi and then I'm like looking at her like why are you saying hi to me and then she was like oh why you don't talk to me like you don't you know we're not friends anymore and I'm like how about you ask your girlfriend that like you didn't tell why you didn't tell me you was dating so and so and then she, <laughs> she, she was like I'm sorry like yada yada typical typical bullshit answer I'm sorry I don't want to hurt bullshit. your feel I didn't want to hurt your feelings or whatever and I'm like well you don't think lying to me you know kind of you know did that in its own so whatever um we end up getting accepted to the dental program because our high school is a health profession high school but yeah so anyways we started our clinical hours together um in lich hospital which is now downstate in brooklyn downtown brooklyn we were doing our clinicals there and then so it was all three of us it was me and two of our friends two of our mutual friends so um in my hand i'm just like i really don't even want to see this bitch but whatever but that's how I felt at the moment. You got it. You got it. That's how I felt at the moment. I didn't want to deal with I didn't want to have to spend my summers being around her. But anyways, we all met up and then the first day, the first day we met up, and then she was like, where's my good morning kiss? I'm like, don't you got a girlfriend? And then she's like, that's not my question. I'm like, where's my good morning? She was like, where's my good morning kiss? Me being a dumbass, I gave her a kiss. I gave her a kiss, whatever. Like, all right, you know. But that was that. And then we walked and we, you know, we were doing our stuff at the hospital. And then little by little, like, we would start talking again, like texting and stuff like that. And then that's when we would start flirting with each other again. I mean, I kind of felt bad because, you know, at the back of my head, I'm like, nah, she got a girlfriend. Like, I shouldn't even be acting like this like that's you know it's kind of fucked up but yeah so like we would always be flirting and stuff like that and then she left for Nicaragua she didn't say bye to me she came to the school she came to the hospital she came to the hospital and she said bye to every single person in that hospital except for me so I'm like wow who would a doctor want no, you. S I was in the room, just fixing up the Fix room. She said bye to everybody except for me. I'm like, wow. She really, she really, she don't give a fuck about me. She really don't care about my feelings. Cause this is the second time she fucked up. How was I gonna say bye to you? Kiss you? How, did you give everybody a kiss or did you say no, bye? No, but you different. So like, what? You still could have said bye. <laughs> and then... <laughs> so, she left. I did my clinical. I did my clinical hours for that summer. And then, on Facebook, I had a message. It was from her. Saying she misses me. And, you know, how's my summer or whatever. And I don't even think you said sorry for not even saying bye. I don't even think she said sorry for not even saying bye. But anyways, did I reply back to you? I don't think I replied. I didn't. Oh, I didn't reply. I didn't. I don't think I replied. I didn't reply back to her. Then senior year came around. Trying to, you know, teach me a lesson. Yeah. Senior okay. year. Yeah, I did. Okay. I wish you didn't have this hat on so people could see how beautiful your eyes look in the sun. Senior year came around and I just completely cut her off. I didn't talk to her, nothing. And this is how I know, like, I think we were destined to be together. Because in our health profession class, because it's one week we're in school, one week we're in clinical, the class was cut into two groups, group A and group B. And then group A was cut into two groups. One group went to this hospital and another group went to that hospital while group B was in school. 
The teacher put us in the same group. <laughs> same group, same clinicals, and it's all like year round. So yes, Miss wow. Dean, thank you very much. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here today. But yeah, she grouped us together. So I was just like, fuck. Like seriously, like why? She would, we would go to clinicals together. We would always go to that duck is staring at me. Just, just look at the camera. Okay. So then we started clinicals. We went to Woodhull. And like after after a while, we just started talking like regular. We weren't flirting. It wasn't no flirting or anything. It was just like talking. Like she apologized for and ignoring me because we were friends. So it was like she apologized for that and I forgave her. So then we would just we would just start talking again like normal. And then um, she would like walk me to the train station and like wait for my train and then she would go home. And then we would then it slowly started getting back to that flirting type of thing, like, oh, like do you really like me? Um, do you see us being together? All that stuff. And um, then she asked me, one night she asked me. She was like, we were just talking like normal. And then she was like, um, you're like, do you want to be my girlfriend? No, you were like, do you like me? But like, she was like, do you like me? But like, really like me? And I'm like, yeah, I do. And then she was like, I like you too. And then she was like, um, she didn't even say, do you want to be my girlfriend? She was like, you're my girlfriend. Like, from now on, from from tonight on, you're my girlfriend. And I'm like, what? She's I like, did ask. No, you didn't ask. I was, she was like, you like, want to be my girlfriend, No, right? you didn't. And that, but then I'm like, <laughs> what? And then you're like, you want to be my girlfriend, right? And I'm like, yeah, but like, okay. <laughs> and then she's like, okay, cool. So tomorrow, like, you're my, starting from tomorrow, you're my girlfriend. I was like, you're my baby and I'll be your baby. Yeah, she's like, and like, you're not talking to nobody else. I'm not talking to anybody else. We gonna really try this thing, basically. And I'm like, okay, like, all right. But, you know, we're together now. What day? Uh, November 6th. Hello. So, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, like the room. Like it's five in the morning too. When yeah, I yeah, it was early in the morning when she asked me out. But like we've been through a lot of stuff. That's basically my view on. We made it. Yeah, we did made it. We made it. We, we're still making it because we're still. Every day you learn. Like yeah. every single day you learn from the person you win. Okay, I was 30, 19 20. turning 20 when we moved in together, and yeah, I'm 25 turning 26. So yeah, it's been a long road and you know, yeah. we're still traveling this this journey together and it's Every day it's we quite learn. an experience, you know. It is, it is. We have our ups, we have our downs just like any couple, but I feel like we've learned and it's like I told her, I'm like I feel like we've raised each other in a way and that's probably why like learning to in a committed relationship no matter how much you love each other it's it gets rocky you know and if you don't have the right person like yeah, it's not you even the right person it. if you don't have the good a good friendship because it's Before like it anything, start it's like, it started i feel like it started off with a friendship like we were friends things happen and then and like, try to be better and you know it starts off with a good friendship i feel and we so my queen over here, my baby. Hope and you like our video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Please subscribe. We'll be back with another video next Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.